Now, I guess today we will see basic difference between OAuth 1.0 and OAuth 2.0. So first uh, we will see a few points about uh, OAuth 1.0 and we will compare those points with uh, OAuth 2.0. So first one is uh, OAuth 1.0 is a transport uh, independent. So it uh, doesn't depend on uh, any transport. That means the uh, security is not uh, delegated to uh, any like uh, HTTPS or TLS protocols. Second one is uh, uh, founded in uh, cryptography, especially digital signatures. So digital signatures are used to prove the integrity and uh, authenticity of a message. So message and uh, signature were not uh, tampered with uh, in any way that is the strongest uh, uh, you know security and a signed message is uh, tied with uh, its uh, origin uh, so client side implementation can be especially complex uh, it is a little bit complex uh, to implement this one uh, at client side messages are uh, each uh, uh, individually cryptographically signed if a me single message within the communication is constructed or signed improperly the entire transactions uh, will be uh, invalidated so that is the one and uh, these three points apart from that uh, basic signature flow how it will work uh, we will see first uh, client application registers with the uh, provider such as twitter or some other services so twitter provides a client uh, with a consumer secret uh, unique to that application so client app signs all uh, its uh, what requests uh, to Twitter with its uh, unique uh, uh, consumer secret which is provided by service provider that is Twitter. So if uh, any of the OAuth request is uh, mal formed or missing data or signed improperly, the request will be rejected. So this, this is the basic signature flow in the OAuth 1.0. And this, one more note is here. So apart from uh, a token, uh, some people use scope parameter of OAuth 1.0, um, which is useful architecture consideration. Now we will see OAuth 2.0 um, points so it is a transport dependent but OAuth 1.0 is not a transport dependent it is a transport independent so most security defenses are delegated to uh, protocols like uh, HTTPS or TLS uh, and improper TLS configuration so improper or incorrect TLS configuration will cause failure to properly validate a certificate and second one is uh, centered around barrier tokens these are easy for integration but not great for security security wise it is not great that means it can be tampered uh, barrier tokens do not provide uh, internal security mechanism that is the main uh, you know uh, not good for uh, um, not uh, great for uh, security much easier to work with so it is very simple uh, work with uh, OAuth 2 uh, is uh, much more useful but uh, much more difficult to build securely security not that much great uh, security it provides so much more flexible OAuth 1.0 only handle web flows but OAuth 2.0 considers non-web clients as well that means very flexible not tied with any single flow better separation of duties so one of the beauty of OAuth 2.0 is this one handling resources request and handling user authorization can be decoupled in OAuth 2.0 so there are you know some in market many big big uh, banking uh, applications are using nowadays a uh, 4 product that is uh, access management uh, which will provide uh, uh, access uh, tokens uh, uh, refresh tokens uh, uh, so that is the uh, um, uh, server uh, nowadays in the market is very 
popular basic uh, signature uh, workflow so uh, we saw what one dot zero basic uh, signature flow and we will see now what two dot zero so client application registers with the service provider such as twitter twitter provides a client uh, Uh, with a client secret not consumer secret uh, unique to that application client application includes a client secret with every request and if any of the what request is mal formed or missing data or contains the wrong secret uh, the request will be rejected thank you